We start tonight with breaking news out of Albany, where school district officials have canceled all classes in all schools for the remainder of the week. This follows that nasty virus that's been keeping kids home with flu-like symptoms. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. Renee McCullough has the evening off. Tonight we have learned that the Lynn County Health Department says they are still testing the bug, but they have a good idea what it is. And KZI 9 News reporter Emma Withrow was in Albany today and has community reaction to the illness. Neighbors who live near Periwinkle Elementary School tell me that they're not only extremely concerned for their children's health, but for their own as well. I spoke with a health administrator from Lynn Public Health, and he said they're testing the virus today to figure out what exactly it is. It's been sent to the lab, and it's being um, looked at right now, but we haven't had the results back. It very much looks like the norovirus. Noble said if it is norovirus, hand sanitizers won't do the trick to get rid of the germ. Instead, he recommends you use hot, soapy water to disinfect yourself after coming in contact with it. You know, for people who are immune compromised, like myself, um, I take a medication that messes that up, so that can get pretty serious, too. A spokesman for the Greater Albany Public Schools said they're doing their best to prevent the spread of the virus. They went and disinfected all the elementary schools. Um, completely with a hospital grade um, sanitizer. Tomsky said the district will be making a decision tonight on whether or not they will keep Periwinkle closed for the rest of the week. Coming up at 6, we'll be hearing more about where this virus has spread and what's to come for those public schools affected here in Albany. Reporting in Albany, Emma Withrow, KEZI 9 News. Oh.